Hi, I am Hardik Nayak from Engineering Guru 2020 YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn handy technique for solving balancing of rotating masses problem. This technique will be quite useful whenever you solve the problem. Today, you will learn one problem of different masses rotating in different planes. Here, question is a sub carries four masses A, B, C, and D. Means here four masses are given that is MA, MB, MC, MD. And magnitude 179 gram, 238 gram, 198 gram, and 218 gram respectively. Means here. MA equal to 179, MB 238 gram, MC 198 gram, MD 218 gram respectively. And revolving radii are in all plane. Means here radius of rotation are equal to 1. Axial distance measured from plane A and B is 30 mm means distance q1 from plane a to b equal to 30 mm and plane b and c is 30 mm so b and c distance equal to 30 mm the angle measured anti clockwise between plane b to c 60 degree means one angle is given that angle between b and c equal to 60 degree. If the sub is in incomplete dynamic balance, determine first the angular position of the mass at A and D and second the distance between the plane A and D. Means our first goal to find theta A and theta D and second goal is to find the total distance. Now, first draw four masses MA, MB, MC, and MD, and their respectively plane A, B, C, and D. Axial distance between A and B is 30 mm, B and C is 30 mm. This diagram is called position of planes. Now, take reference plane on plane A. For how to select reference plane, you can refer my previous video. So we know that from the reference plane, right hand side any distance will be positive and left hand side will be negative. Total length is not given. Now how can we find this total length? Here I will share a handy trick for solving this type of problem. Let us assume total length equal to x as shown in figure. So we assume that total length value equal to x. Second row, angular position of plane as per given data. Here you can see the only given angle between B and C 60 degree. We have to find theta A and theta B angle. Now, let's come to an important table. What we will do is, we will make 6 different columns. Column number 1, plane. Second, for mass. Third, for radius. Fourth, for force. Fifth, for distance. And six for couple. What plane you have in column first, plane A, B, C, and D, write in this order noted in position of plane diagram. Then, second, that is for mass, all masses are in gram. So, MA 179, MB 238. MC 198, MD 
1.28 gram third column radius of rotation of plane in meter but in our problem radius of rotation is r so take r equal to 1 for all plane now fourth column is for centrifugal force we assume force equal to m into r not m r omega square because omega square is omitted unit of mass would be kg into meter but in our problem we take gram into meter get force value from column number 2 into column number 3 means 179 into 1 equal to 179 gram into meter this is fc1 value now fc2 equal to 238 into r its value 238 fc3 198 fc4 218 now fifth column this is the distance from the taken reference plane at in meter here reference plane is on plane a value at reference plane equal to 0 on b 0 0.03 meter at point c 0 0.06 and d x we assume total distance equal to x then multiplication of column 4 and 5 we get the column number 6 that is couple and that unit is gram into meter square so here you can see so 179 into 0 equal to 0 and here 238 into 0.03 equal to 7.14 for plane C 198 into 0 0.06 equal to 0108 and final 218 into x equal to we can get 218x now two column we need to look at this one that is column number 4 and column number 6 in couple column 1 on no 1 and in column number 4 no on no 1 value from the couple diagram we will find out the value of x that is total distance and angle of plane D using that we will draw force polygon and find out the angular position of for mass A from polar number 4 let's start with couple polygon diagram first write down scale this is most important because so many people get confused in this problem we take scale 11.88 gram in the meter square equal to 10 centimeter means 1 centimeter equal to 1.188 gram into meters meter square now calculate all respective couple vector value from the scale first this is on polar number 6 we draw couple polygon from this polar number 6 value first take random point O dash then draw couple vector line O dash B dash this line will draw parallel line from the position of plane diagram length of couple O dash B dash equal to 6 cm this is taken from the scale then second draw line B dash C dash it is also parallel line from the position of plane diagram the length of the B dash C dash equal to 10 cm now join simply the point couple line that is O dash C dash 
by measurement from couple polygon diagram balance vector to 18x equal to vector c dash o dash so measure with the scale that value will be 13.6 cm so multiply by scale will get new value equal to 16.15 gram into meter square so we get the value of x that is total distance x equal to 74 mm by using contractor measure from couple polygon diagram we find that the angular position of mass at d from mass c in anti log wise direction that is uh, that, uh, that from here and that angle theta d equal to angle b c o equal to theta d equal to 210 let's draw force polygon diagram assume scale 238 gram equal to 8 centimeter that means 1 centimeter equal to 29.75 gram calculate all respective force vector value from scale here you can see polar number 4 and uh, and their value we draw force polygon by using this value now first take random point O then draw force vector line OB this line draw a parallel line from the couple polygon and the length of this vector OB equal to 8 cm this is taken from scale second draw this line draw this parallel line from couple diagram and the length of BC equal to 6.6 cm third draw force vector line CD do this line parallel from the couple polygon diagram length of this couple CD equal to 7.3 cm now join simply point force line D O by using protector measure form force polygon diagram we find the angular position of mass A from anti-clockwise direction that is angle C D O equal to 190 now put value of theta A and theta B in position of plane diagram in final step here you can see C and D is 60 degree we, we get new value of uh, theta A that is 190 degree and theta B 220 degree this is the final step of our, of our problem I hope you understand this problem now draw all the problem by using instrument then and then you will boost up your confidence if you have any query regarding this problem feel free contact me on my mail id that is engineeringguru20 at the rate gmail.com thanks a lot for watching this video if you like this video please encourage me by using giving like this video sharing your views in comment section below please share this video for other benefits and subscribe my channel i will see you in next video thank you